May 31st. There I am in my room wearing these big glasses, growing the mustache, take them off. I don't know. Um, glasses seem to hide my face a little bit too much. Um, anyway, I'm just doing push ups. Just thought I'd make a quick uh, little update flick. Uh, how I'm looking with this uh, stash growing out so abundantly. Um, just turned 41, May 18th. Um, getting ready to go to work. Do my 4 to 10 or 10.30, whatever it goes till shift. And right now it's, I uh, can't see, uh, 43, 44. Just turned 244. I'm going to be leaving really soon because i got to cash my check. I have had my wallet for a few days now. got to pay the rent tomorrow. Well, at least i got a raise at work, so that's good. Needed it. Get more hours, too. It's been too hot here in New York. Way too hot. Orange County area. A lot of people think, uh, you know, all of New York is just the city. I don't know why people think that, you know, there's just a lot more to New York than just the city. You know, the city is only like, I think it's like 10% of New York, pretty much. That, that's about it, if that. There's just a lot of New York, you know, a lot of different variety, various uh, territories, you know variety of uh, terrain, you know, so to speak, There's a variety of landscapes, you got all these like uh, black dirt field lands, that's where I'm near, you know, the countryside, back roads, so I ride my mountain bike on, you got upstate, you know, like Albany and all that, and then, uh, you know, I'm in Orange County, you know, Towns like Warwick, Goshen, Chester, Middletown, Florida, Pine Island, uh, Newburgh, New Windsor, Dales Gate, and so on and so forth. Well, yeah, I guess uh, I just wanted to make it clear to people that I think yeah, you know, New York is nothing but the city. You know, they automatically assume you're from a city if you're a New York resident. You know, it's such a powerfully unaware uh, myth, you know. So, um, I guess with that said, I was going to say with that said, I'll sign off, but I want to point out one more thing. I remember way back in the day when I went in uh, the Navy, in the boot camp, um, this was way back in January 90 when I joined, when I entered boot camp, it was January 3rd of 1990, and uh, I remember maybe a week into boot camp, uh, the swim test, um, we were all in the water, just kind of treading in the water, staying afloat. They were just, I guess, making sure that we could, or wait, you step off the high diving board first, and then you do the, the, the couple laps, whatever, and then you, like, tread in the water. And they talked to you a little bit. And I remember they were asking everybody what state they're from. And when I said New York, they automatically thought I was from the city. You know, you know, that's just typical. You know, this this was in Illinois. You know, Great Lakes, Illinois. And, um, it always annoyed me though how people are like that. They automatically think you're from the city. You know. Yeah, I've been to the city. I never lived in the city. I've, I've been there, visited, you know. Went to ball games, and, you know. Went on, like, class trips there, you know, museums, you know. Uh, Rockettes, the Christmas Spectacular back in late 84. Yeah, I remember that. It was a little bit before Christmas of 84. That memory kind of stands out. So does going to the 
World Trade Center. You know, one of the towers was at the top and looking out through the telescope. That was in uh, May of 85. But anyway, I don't want to like ramble and stuff. I didn't really want to elaborate too much on the city. You know, it's just I wanted to point out that I don't like when people automatically think that. You know, it's obviously people from other states that have never been to New York, obviously. You know, they don't know how vast it is, you know, how eclectically trained New York is, you know. It's a bigger state than one can imagine, you know, basically. It doesn't look that big on the, on the map, but it, it is quite, you know, quite uh, vast, you know just various terrain areas, you know, variety of, um, variety of territory, you know, kind of short for words, I guess, I'm just getting nervous because I got to go to work, I always feel very nervous before work, <sighs> oh well, what are you going to do, you know, I, I, I dread the music there, you know, the store soundtrack, it's so dreadful. It really is. It's, uh, it's nerve-wracking at times, you know. It's just really boring and dreadful. I, I've heard every song they play so many times, you know. They never change it, you know. It makes the job, you know, so bummy, you know. It bums it out, you know. If they would just vary the music. Like at least from week to week. It doesn't have to be every day, but just like change the soundtrack like every week, once a week at least. You know, that's what they need to do to make it a much more positive work experience, you know. You're not going to fan customers, you know. As long as you just play music that's, uh, you know, civilized, you know, shouldn't be any problem, you know. I don't know what they're being paranoid about and just being a bunch of redundant, uh, aristocratic, uh, stubborn-headed um, lamos. I don't know how else to put it, you know. Anyway, I guess I'll sign off for now. I'll soon be making another film working out, you know, I guess. Or maybe take my drums somewhere and do a little drum solo session, whatever. I don't know. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.